this means is that this time you will see bracket on both sides of the equation and we have the right hand side and the left hand side so we will see bracket here and bracket here this time so once they give you bracket in the question the first step is for you to remove your bracket you remove brackets second one you group like terms like and unlike terms third one you divide divide through by the coefficient coefficient of the variable and the last one you solve for the variable so we have four main steps if they give you brackets so i will use two questions to illustrate this seven i will use two questions to illustrate this heaven our first example solve for m if 4 m minus 2 is equal to 3 2 m plus 5 so we now see that there is bracket on both sides of the equation our first step is for us to remove our brackets and you multiply this number by the numbers in the bracket 4 times m we are getting 4m 4 times 2 we have 8 equal to 3 times 2m is 6m plus 3 by 5 is 15 so we remove our bracket remove brackets The next step for us is to group our like terms. So you group the variables at the left hand side of the equation and the one without variables at the right hand side of the equation. So 4m, this crosses the equal sign becomes negative, equal to 15 plus 8. It becomes positive here. So negative 2m is equal to 23. And once we have this, we divide through by the coefficient of the variable, which is negative 2. So m is equal to negative 23 over 2. But since this is an improper fraction, you change it to miss fraction or decimal. 2 goes here, 11. Remember, 1 over 2. And this becomes negative. So this one, group like terms. Group like terms. Divide through by coefficients of the variable. This is our first question. Let us take our last question. If 5y minus 3y plus 2, 4y plus 3 is equal to 4y minus 2, I solve for y, I, I find the solution sets. So once we have this, you remove your bracket first. You remove your brackets. So it becomes 5y minus 3y plus 2 times 4y, we have 8y plus 2 times 3, we have 6 equal to 4 times y is 4y minus 4 times 2, we have 8. You see, we can add like terms here. Because we have y, y, and y. 5y minus 3y is 2y 
plus 8y is 10y plus 6 equal to 4y minus 8. And once we have this, we group our like terms. So it becomes 10y minus 4y because it becomes negative. Equal to negative 8 minus 6. 10y minus 4y, we are having 6y equal to negative 14. Because you owe someone 8, you owe another 6. So it's negative 14. Since we have this, we divide both sides by the coefficient of the variable, which is 6. 2 goes here, 3. 2 goes here, 7. Because you can reduce this fraction to its lowest term by using the common factor 2. So we have y is equal to, since this is an improper fraction, you change it to miss fraction or decimal. It becomes 3 goes into 7, 2. Remember 1 over 3, so it's negative. Since we are having negative 7 over 3. Let me give you some prior question so that at your leisure time, you try your hands on it. Try a question. One. If 3p minus 4, 2p plus 3 is equal to 2p minus 2. I find the value of P. I, I. What is the solution set? What is the solution set? 2. Solve for W. If 5. 3 plus 4w is equal to is equal to 8 2 minus 3 w so try these questions at your leisure time and this brings us to the end of this session